Hello my friends, today we are going to have a look how you easily make a loop on your fly line. And most of the fly lines you buy today are pre-looped, but sometimes the loop breaks and you make need to make a new one. So the loop you can see in the picture was attached to my fly line before. And I just cut it off to show you how to make a new one. It was on this end of the line as you can see. Okay, let's get started. You need a razor, some shrink tubing and the shrink tubing you can buy from us. Link below this video. It's important to have the right shrink tubing. You need a pair of scissors that are really sharp and pointy and you need a hair straightener and important is that this uh, straightener has a thermostat where you can change the temperature and the temperature to set is 170 degrees so let's get started you need about uh, seven to eight centimeters of shrink tubing for this. So we start with uh, cutting the fly line in an angle like this. It's important to, to have this angle. It's like cutting an edge on the fly line as you can see. And we take our shrimp tubing and put the tip of the fly line into it. And then we put it back in. And be sure to put the whole loop into the tubing like this. And we take our hair straightener and we attach heat all around the fly line. So we spin it around and open and close the hair straightener. This only takes a couple of seconds, as you can see. And this will melt the coating on the fly line. There we go. Now we wait a couple of seconds for the fly line to cool down. That's it. And now you take your scissors and remove the shrink tubing. The shrink tubing actually is only there uh, to not to uh, burn the coating. There we go. A little more of cutting and that's it we're done and as you can see the two fly lines have totally joined together and melted there you have it the perfect loop for your fly line thank you for watching bye bye